The Law of Karma, Dhamma Practice Volume 10, Dhamma Practice Section, Sense Restraint. Yesterday I explained it to you. Reading from the calendar, Wat Ampawan. Yesterday I explained to you that defilements reach you through the six sense doors. Evil, heaven, and nibbana all come through these six sense doors. Maintain your mindfulness in line with clarity of consciousness to see whether your reaction is meritorious or sinful. Merit and demerit arise through the three channels of action, body, speech, and mind. If your mindfulness and mind are effective, your threefold bodily action, fourfold actions by speech, and threefold actions by mind will be wholesome. This point will be clear to you. Therefore, you should attain this basic first. Do not attempt to attain those higher steps as the insight knowledge. Some people commented about the way we practice vipassana meditation at Wat Ampawan by saying that our method results in a low attainment of insight knowledge. They could go to another temple where they teach the 16 stages of insight knowledge. They could practice the six-step walking meditation. I asked them to practice the rising and falling of the abdomen. What expands? What contracts? What is the knowing? And what is the acknowledgement? They could not answer any of these questions. So they were not able to pass the examination. Painful no, painful no. When you acknowledge pain, you use mindfulness. When you acknowledge no, you use clear comprehension in inspecting how painful it is. Clearly conscious of the pain, knowing no no, you come to realize the way things arise, remain and cease. The painful feeling disappears. The mind is detached from the painful feeling. You truly understand the truth. When you perceive the truth, the mind flips over. Please remember carefully. If you have not perceived the truth, there is attachment still. The mind craves to know, but it cannot perceive the truth. This can lead to false knowledge. This is not a successful practice. Die if you must. For beginners, the pain seems intense. Oh, it is unbearable. Keep on acknowledging. Painful no. Die if you must. Let mindfulness lead and clear comprehension will tell how painful it is and where the pain arises. Oh. It is so painful, as if the bone is being poked with needles. Your lower parts feel like they are burning. Die if you must. Die if you must. At one point, you can perceive the truth. Everything arises, remains, and ceases. There is the leader and the inspector. Please understand this point. I am repeating what I said yesterday. If you have heard it, please listen carefully again. You never listen to me and never inspect yourself. Why should you inspect other people? You must lead and inspect yourself before you can inspect others. In practicing vipassana meditation, you must lead and inspect yourself. When you can clearly inspect yourself, you can effectively lead your children. When people are academically successful, for example, they have a master's degree. We can say that they have academic ordination in which they have gained knowledge. 
when you come to the temple and practice vipassana meditation, we can call it mind ordination. Mind ordination does not need a saffron robe. This is mind ordination. But you are ordained as a monk for the understanding of the causes and consequences and for the knowing from the beginning to the end. This is called study ordination. Study ordination leads to the deliverance or vimutti. To fulfill the study ordination, you need to free yourself from avarice or machariya. You have to open yourself for more learning. If you do not study, you will not learn it. If you do not look, you will not see. If you do not listen, you will not hear. If you do not practice, you will not be able to perform. You will have difficulties and hardships until the end of your days. This will become clear to you. You waste your time by leading and inspecting others who do something bad. For example, you gossip and babble. This is not the way we practice vipassana meditation at Wat Ambawan. Please do not do it here. You must have mindfulness as the leader and clear comprehension as the inspector. Set your mindfulness at your solar plexus and acknowledge. Knowing, no, no, practice until you can do it. When you are drowsy, you should acknowledge drowsy no. Acknowledging drowsy no leads you to recollect the drowsy state. Sighting no inspects how drowsy you are. Oh, you say you almost cannot bear it. Your eyes are barely open. Then you will realize the truth, no, no, and as you perceive the truth, the drowsiness ends. Drowsiness is sloth and torpor. They are defilements in Pali. They are termed kina midda. As drowsiness disappears, you become wide awake, and you can keep on acknowledging.